methane is a very strong category four system and there's very little out there to knock it down it is moving over some very warm waters there's nothing in the atmosphere as far as like strong upper level winds to shear it so this is going to remain as a strong system as it nears Haiti, uh, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic as well as eastern Cuba in the days ahead. So the winds remain at 140 miles per hour. It is now moving a little faster to the north at around 7, 225 miles southwest of Port-au-Prince. So this is the forecast cone, high pressure to the east, upper low that we've been watching for a while now. It looks like in the short term it's going to head due north, but then... Come Wednesday, high pressure starts to build back in. Now, this is new. The models are suggesting that this was going to weaken and move to the east, but it looks like maybe by days four and five, it moves back to the west, and that could push this system in our direction. And right now, parts of South Florida are back in the cone of concern. So here's the close-up cone, Category 4, as it makes its way right across the Jamaica Channel. It looks like Haiti will probably get hit, maybe a direct impact right here on the westernmost point. And then it looks like eastern Cuba will see 140 mile, 130 mile per hour winds. And then it looks like most of the Bahamas are going to be dealing with the system from the southeastern Bahamas all the way to the northwestern Bahamas. And by the time Thursday, 2 p.m. rolls around, Category 3 is being forecast right across the northwestern Bahamas here. And now it looks like parts of South Florida, that includes a little sliver here of Miami-Dade and Broward counties, are in the cone of concern. Now, a reminder that these systems don't travel in a straight line. That center could be anywhere here or all the way west here. So if the center is here, it looks like all of South Florida could be impacted. And this is also a big system, 500 miles wide. So those feeder bands will be impacting just about everyone here across the peninsula. All right, so let's take a look at our local conditions. Winds are coming uh, out of the east with some moisture, but most of that rain is being sent over to Lake Okeechobee. That's where we got the rainfall this afternoon. And here's another good look at uh, Matthew as it aims this afternoon for the islands down the road we will probably be dealing with that system threat of rip currents Biscayne Bay with a light chop for you throughout Florida Keys exercise caution seas will be building to three to five feet beyond the reef so for tonight still a chance for a few showers by tomorrow another day like today the breeze is going to start to pick up at the coast some afternoon thunderstorms here's your extended outlook Tomorrow looking pretty typical. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's all up to Matthew. And that's your 7 on 7 forecast.